All right, so uh, this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Iron as well, Leo Rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, January 13th to January 19th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case you guys want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check out uh, the description down below of this video and there you're going to find a link to my website now that set aside let's uh oops sorry uh let's have a look what uh what leo will have to go through in terms of love and relationship throughout this week so the first card here which uh, stands as the topic of uh, their relationship cycle throughout the week is going to be the world card followed by the next one which stands as the uh, energy is feeding up the world card that will be the tree of wands furthermore is going to be the challenge here that it is represented by the seven of pentacles and the gifts and the blessings that you leo are going to enjoy are to be a d10 of cups then the fourth uh, the uh, fifth one i'm sorry uh, it does represent how people are going to take on you what kind of an impression you're going to live into leave into uh, your partner, your husband, your wife, uh, you know, your person of interest, friends and family, so on and so forth, nine of ones. Uh, then the next one, it is uh, the long-term prospects or rather like it is what is gonna help your long-term love and relationship go here. That will be the nine of pentacles, followed by the next one here, which is what is gonna hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. Uh, that will be the, the Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. And the last one, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. We have the Six of Wands. Oh my God. So Leo, uh, I, th I am not an astrologer, guys, but I do believe that that completely fits with, uh, with your chart, or rather like what Leo represents. And that reading, it just screams, it, it shrieks, do not settle for less or for something small. Uh, that, is, that can be seen here into the first two cards, which are the world and the tree of wands that it is feeding as an energy, the topic itself. Uh, not much can be said. It is because the world card, it is the culmination of one's journey. All right, so your journey through uh, through your life in an attempt to, let's say, finding love or establishing family or being in a relationship. But the culmination does not mean that one thing needs to end abruptly and then, you know, something new to start. Take it, take it as like closing up one chapter but that doesn't mean that the book has to be closed as well and i don't believe that that's the case as well it is because the tree of wands here as an energy they have a, a continuation it is basically points that a one needs to even further lift the bar of not just only expectations but aims and goals now tree of wands doesn't have anything to do with expectations it is just points that especially with the world card, it is that you have reached the bar you have set for yourself just so to find out that you can go even higher than that in love and relationship wise. So that being said here, the world point that you are successfully going to complete one stage of your relationship or of your, or of your love life. And now it's time to improve and to start writing a, a new chapter for yourself. And the good thing is that you can write it the way you want it, okay? It's, that is further confirmed by the tree of wands as well, which is exactly building up on your own personal momentum as you have already established a very solid foundations of whatever you are striving for. One thing, however, is important to be acknowledged with the world card. It is that the world card manifests itself positively. I mean, as a, a culmination and peak of experience. And then, you know, you proceed with um, a new, not new goal, but how can I say it? New perspective for that thing you are developing. That manifests only if you face the world open, meaning that you have to be honest and above everything else, honest with yourself. And that's why you should not settle for less than you think you deserve. Throughout this week, January 13th to January 19th, 
2020 in term of love and relationship that is now challenges uh, we do have the seven of pentacles and kind of speaks for itself seven of pentacles it is the card pointing resting resting time and time of a deliberations while we saw in the first two cards that it is time for actions it is time for setting the bar higher and stepping on your current foundations let's say so seven of pentacles in that particular reading here it points to way too to too much prolonged deliberations or contemplations if you will how to proceed from now on am i not am i worthy for it if you will or um kind of like do i deserve it? it it is as well something that you can ask yourself if you will there are such kind of people but um seven of pentacles also may represent that you may be waiting for something and that thing you are waiting for it is only in your head or rather like its importance it's only in your head. What I mean here is that you may be waiting for a certain event to happen so you can make your move, but what you're not realizing it is that you can make your move even without that event to happen, right? And that is the challenge to understand actually in what kind of how powerful position you are at that particular point and that you have to capitalize on it. I mean, you have to cash in on it. So the other one here, it is the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. And that will be the Ten of Cups. So needless to say, Ten of Cups refers to, well, I will say it that way. Um, the, regardless of how you're going to find yourself entering the week in, in terms of love and relationship, the gift and the blessing is that your life either slowly progressingly i mean your love life either slowly progressingly or all of a sudden is going to start worth living again and if it is worth living right now it will worth even more moving forward into the future ten of cups it is that card where love is deprived from conditions okay the two poor people love each other and nothing not the whole wealth in the world it's capable of changing the mind of either of them so um what i am trying to say here it is that in whatever form you find love throughout this week as gift and blessing for you at least is going to be enough all right and also as a gift and blessing the card points that it doesn't look like that you are risking anything with whatever moves you decide to do moving forward into the future. And that's why it's advisable to do actions here instead of constantly waiting for something decisive to happen. Remember, you are the, decis are the decisive one. You create the decisive, the decisive um, circumstances upon which your future in love and in relationship is to be built upon. So the next one it is how people are going to take on you, what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people. And that is the nine of wands. So that is quite a, a beneficial card falling into that position. Now, people are going to see you that you are, um, I don't know how to say it in English, uh, that you are basically giving everything you have into that. So therefore, it doesn't look like that you're going to be undervalued into your interactions or either into your relationships as well. Just on the contrary here, people are going to see that you are making the effort to make the things happen and even that you are making more effort than needed for making the things happen by uh, changing your routine, for example, your schedule, uh, you know, and that is all derived from your previous experience. And that is another thing I wanted to say here. People are going to see you very experienced. It is that you know what you are doing in terms of love and relationship, that you know what you are doing into your relationship, you know what you are doing into your marriage, you know what you are doing with your interaction and etc, etc. So the next card here, it is about what is going to help your long term love and relationship go. And that is another confirmation with the nine of pentacles. It is that you should not settle for less because the nine of pentacles 
in that particular position of this particular follow-up reflects to going for the big fish, going for the reward, you know, going for the, for the golden cup that awaits only number one. And now that I'm thinking of, um, uh, lyrics are start popping in my mind. Uh, I think it was a song from Abba that says um, that the game is on again and either it's uh, for a lover or a friend, small thing, a big thing or a small, at the end the winner takes it all. And you have to be the winner, that's why you don't settle for less. And remember once again, this is love. And love has something very similar as war. In love and in war, there are no rules, okay? It's just there are no rules. So you are allowed to play the way that is going to fulfill your destination, if you will. If that destination is a person, you are allowed to play with everything you got. And that's why you have to exceed not your expectations, but your limits and your goals as well. Now, the next one, it is uh, what is going to hurt your long-term love and relationship goal. And we do have the Knight of Cups. Do not believe in empty talks. That is what the card says here. Okay, so Knight of Cups, this is a sweet talker. And it is not that the person doesn't mean those things from whomever you are going to hear. A big speeches for a uh, living happily ever after and from for big love and folding for example and how they're gonna bring the world the world into your knees and these kind of stuff it is not like that person doesn't want to do it it's not like they don't have an intention to do it the problem is they don't have a clue how to do it okay so while their intentions of uh, the intentions of whomever is approaching you or whomever you are with are pure their, uh, how can I say it, um, their plan of how to do it is rather very poor. So I can suggest you to arm yourself with a bit of tolerance, well, actually with a lot of tolerance and with a lot of a, um, um, patience if you are expecting the other to do the heavy lifting you have to be the one to do the heavy lifting. It just comes with uh, having the things the way you want them to have, which by the way, is something I forgot to mention here. Uh, the energies, which are the tree of wands in relationship, it points that the energies are gonna help you manifest the things exactly the way you want them to manifest. So at the end of the day, or they are going, uh, things and circumstances are gonna turn out exactly the way you are expecting. So at the end of the day, if you are shaping something, at the end of the day, excuse me, you find find out that you don't want, well, that will be your fault. Um, last one, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering. We do have the Six of Wands. And as you should not settle for less, you also should not bypass your recognition. Okay, especially when it comes to uh, in a, a living and healthy relationship, you do something for the relationship, you demand your recognition. Otherwise, you risk to be taken for granted and you, Leo, should never allow that thing to happen. Okay, so you, you do the heavy lifting, but also you have to establish, how can I say it, to establish a... Uh, and an agreement, if you will, that at the end you're gonna reap the rewards from it. So in other words, everybody, at the end, everybody gets what they have worked for, and that is something you need to uh, kind of parade with in front of everybody else, so they don't have the impression that they are going to be carried on moving forward into the future. So it does look like, Leo, that this week it is quite productive for you in terms of love and relationship, guys. Uh, you are will be able you will be able to uh, basically form uh, very decisive circumstances, of course, if that's your plans and your ideas. And uh, through that, uh, you are going to um, establish or maintain a full control over there. So hopefully at the end of the day, you shape your relationship or your love life the way you want, the way you want it to be, or you find it that it is shaped exactly the way you want it. 
because everybody could try to make a sculpture, but at the end of the day, if I try to make a sculpture, it's not gonna work out because I'm not a sculptor. So hopefully you are a, a good sculptor of relationships because the material you have to work with is going to be love. And that is not something that you can sculpt easily. So that being said, uh, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And if you want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check the description down below. There you're going to find a link to my website. And with that being said, hopefully we're going to see each other around as well. And until then, bye.